All right, and we're live. Since we're in Texas, I'm gonna start off with what up, y'all? <laughs> Eric, driverlineup.com, world's okay, steering wheel holder, hanging out with Captain Dave. Hello, hello. And as the title suggests, for the replay game, he just bumped his first dock. Oh yeah. Uh, on day four, right? Are we in day four? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, day four. What's up, Twisted Big D? Hey, man. Uh, Twisted Big D, your your pad training paid off. He's he's got the he's he knows what he's doing in terms of moving the truck around. Now, I did forget to tell him that I, we just slid the truck, the tandems, all the way back. <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> it's a tad different. Uh, but he's got the he's got the maneuvers down. Uh, Saddam, do you have a student? Yeah. Unless Jenna grew a beard really quick. Oof. What up, heathens? Hey. So, so yeah, we're at Walmart in New Caney, Texas. A lot of you will be familiar with it, and um, it's not very busy. And uh, he was like, you know what? Let me uh, let me go for it. You know. So day four, TNT bumped his first dock. So awesome. We were a little lucky, though. I think we're we're still on the holiday break. I think Eric expected this DC to be a lot busier than it was. So yeah, it did. we had some room. Uh, it wasn't a real tight uh, fit putting this trailer in here. So it was a great opportunity for me to do my first one. And he he coached me through it, and and I feel really good about it. So hooray for that. Twisted Big D taught him both ways. Yep. The reference yep. points and the... around the line and down the line. Yeah, I think. Uh, one of the really encouraging parts of it, you know, <clears throat> he didn't come straight into the hole on the first maneuver, but here's the key part in correcting in the spot and getting lined up with the dock. He didn't take any extra time trying to figure out which way to turn the steer tires, which is, that's a good sign. Takes, takes some people a lot of time to figure out wait, am I supposed to move the front of the trailer to the left or the right? Or, you know, try to get all these big algorithms in their head. And uh, he's really got that on lock. Good luck with training. It's good money. Well, you know, yeah, it can be good money, but it's also just really good experience. Um, I will say, though, to, if you're thinking about training, this is the worst time to make good money. <laughs> December and January is, uh, don't think you're gonna come out here and make six or $7,000 checks. Can't, you can't, it's possible. Uh, Wombats, what up, man? Haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, so anyway, on another note, Dave is currently setting up his YouTube channel so I don't think he wants to announce the name of it but as soon as that's ready I'll be definitely giving you guys a heads up I know a lot of you a lot of you have questions for him about working for the VA what he did in the in the service he would um, he's gonna be teaming with his wife so it's we saw a lot of comments in the last couple of videos asking questions for him. Uh, so his his channel will be up here pretty soon. Heathens, I head out tonight with brand new student, forty thousand miles to do. Oh, do you have a CDL holder? Is that what you're saying? Uh, Lonnie, getting that confidence one dock at a time. Nice, that's a good phrase. I like that. They should be able to dock lots of them in the next 30,000 miles, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, one bad, Tarek. When you take home time in the winter, how do you set your APU for single-digit weather? I usually run mine in standby mode. Do you run any heater at all or just leave it? Well, yeah. So it, when it's that cold, um, I'll park the truck at prime and run it with the heater turned pretty much all the way down. So it's just enough to kick on and keep everything charging up um, and keep the truck from just turning ice. Uh, so let me, a little bit of story time, you guys. 
In fact, I was going to tell Dave this story earlier because I was telling him I've only blown uh, one drive tire. So on the note of that question, the truck, my last truck, uh, I think it was my last truck, might have been a Freightliner. Um, Wombat's five dollars for the great content, brother. Thank you. Really appreciate the super chat. That's awesome. So this one's for you, Wombats. <laughs> Along the lines of that question about winter, my uh, drive axle brakes froze at the house, and I was just bobtail. Well, you can see the drive axles moving spinning on the driver's side right but you can't see them in the mirror spinning on the passenger side well, on the driver's side i felt it let go and there was snow and ice on the ground so i didn't know that i was dragging that side so in my neighborhood it was all snow and ice so i just pulled out and unbeknownst to me i was dragging that frozen that tire was locked on that side because the brake was locked it was frozen frozen locked and of course i get on to 60 uh to swing over to 65 and go up to prime and once i got on the interstate i was dragging that tire so what do you think is going to happen when you're dragging a tire on the interstate at 60 miles per hour <laughs> It burned a hole about a foot wide all the way across the tire. So one minute I'm just driving along, minding my own business, and the next minute my tire minder up here starts screaming, and the, the tire pressure went from 100 to basically nothing in no time, just nothing. So that hole was all the way across the tire and then probably about four inches wide from front to back. Destroyed a brand new tire. And there was nobody at Prime, at the Prime shop, all their tire, all their mobile tire guys were all gone doing other things. So they had to have a third party come out to change that tire. So I was like three or four miles from Prime, but because it was a weekend, it cost me $1,100 to have that tire replaced. Have just a couple miles from Prime. Terrible. <laughs> That's what I meant when I said it. It was a very costly, yeah, very costly mistake. Uh, heathens, I put my wheel chocks out and check my brakes. Drums are famous for freezing. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible, and you can you can feel them kind of pop loose sometimes. Uh, but I and I felt the one pop loose, and I could see the tires on this side turning, but I couldn't see the tires on the other side. So I just assume assumed that they both let go but they didn't uh, but anyway yeah typically i'll because i can't leave my apu running in my neighborhood so i'll leave the truck at prime if i'm home for a week when it's that cold and just leave the heater at the very very minimum setting so the truck fires up maybe once an hour and uh, heats up everything charges up everything etc What else? You guys got anything for Captain Dave? Do you have anything? Twisted Twisted Big D says he'll smooth everything out over time. He's a quick learner if he's not overthinking. Uh, I think I was the pro poster child for overthinking in uh, PSD. So, you know, for anybody that's coming, um, thinking of coming to Prime, don't um, don't be intimidated to think you can't can't do it. I could never put that trailer in that hole. That's that you know, for some people it's very intimidating, and it was for me. Uh, but I think my, I was my own worst enemy, and, and Daniel will attest to this, that um, everything he asked me to do, I, I, I had to evaluate it in my head. He, he accused me of being an overthinker, which I was. He said, it's really very simple. If you'll just follow my instructions, exactly what I say, it'll work for you. And, you know, being as hard-headed as I was, it took me a little longer than it did, did maybe some other people. But remember, these guys that do this PSD training, they do it every day, day in and day out, and they know the answers to the test. And they, if they're good, and many of them are, they can look at the student and they can teach it in a way that the student can understand it. Like for instance, in my last day before the test, Daniel said, I'm gonna have you teach me the maneuvers. He was the, 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 uh, the student who didn't know anything. He sat there in the, in the seat and he let me tell him every turn that he needed to make 
to put the trailer in for the alley dock. And you know what? It worked magically and and it taught me. It showed him that I knew it and that was how I, I needed to teach it. That was my way of learning. And so I really appreciate him for recognizing that or thinking of it, but it it firmed everything up for that test and, and I jammed on it the next day. So thanks again for that, Daniel. Uh, hot seat. Dave, don't forget to move wheel chocks before you pull away from docks. It can be dumb and cost a mistake. Uh, yeah, I, I know that from experience too. <laughs> I definitely know that from experience. I left a wheel chalk in. Well, here's what happened to me at Shaw. You guys know Shaw and Savannah. There's one facility where they live load you. There's a couple different plants right there in that area. And there's one where they live load you and uh, I didn't know I was in the sleeper and I didn't know that one of their staff came out and put a chalk in front of the trailer tires nobody told me they did that I didn't do it the chalk wasn't there when I backed in nobody told me to chalk the trailer tire so they came out and put one in and it was a dry load so I was gonna circle around the facility when they told me I was good to go and need and get and handed me the paperwork so I just started pulling out and I could hear something and I felt a lot of resistance, but just glancing in the mirror, I could see the tires kind of turning. So I, you know, it took me a minute and then someone's yelling at me and it was another driver who came running out to the tractor and uh, I had burned that wheel chalk about halfway down <laughs> and left this black mark across their parking lot all the way. It was it was a probably a 40 yard black mark that was going to stick around for a while and destroyed this wheel chalk yeah. um, pulling out so yeah you definitely want especially with the ones they have here at this walmart they're metal yellow metal chalks big c says you beat me david big c was a great guy he was in psd uh, a, a cycle ahead of me the first time I came I think we told every told y'all I got COVID and got sent home and Big C was here probably the first part of October and graduated then he's he's been on the road now for a while how many miles how many miles you got in um, Big C for for a PS a T, a TNT but uh, yeah great congratulations on being out there still I'm not sure if I should or shouldn't ask what BC Big C stands for <laughs> We are being unloaded right now. Dave's Dave said a prayer before we got here, and so far this has been a remarkable Walmart experience. I told him. <laughs> I said, "Ask and you shall receive," and we certainly have received so far today. They let us check in early. It's pretty empty, uh, and they they started unloading us within 30 minutes of taking our paperwork in. 20,000 miles. That's awesome. You're getting close to the end, man. Okay, big guy named Charlie. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the same with Twisted Big D. His name his name's his name's Daniel. His name's Daniel. So you really could let your uh, your mind go in directions it shouldn't with yeah, a couple of these names. There, Stop at the exit 164 for dinner if you go up 45. Well, we don't have a load because we both have to go off duty for 10 hours. We're still running super solos, so we may be going out west Houston to stay at uh, Fuel Max. Because the Flying J we were just at was absolutely jam-packed. I had to back into a pretty sketchy spot for a little break before we were waiting, while we were waiting on Walmart. Skyboy, I'm not a trucker yet. I've never had a good Walmart experience. <laughs> RJ, I passed you guys a couple weeks back. Nice looking truck for sure. Thank you. RJ, you and Jenna. Rich, was nice to meet you in Springfield, Captain. Yeah, Rich, you were there at the, at the pad that day. I, you were downstairs at the um, at the plaza, I believe. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've seen a few of your videos too. You, you do some good stuff, man. Yep, they are actively unloading this trailer. This is good. This is a good sign. Oh, but anyway, uh, who, who was that that was saying stop for dinner? When I was saying the Flying J is really packed, 
there's not really anywhere to park around this uh, Walmart here in New Caney so not having a load yet and knowing that all the parkings already filled up our, our options are pretty limited if you know you if you know a place we can hide in the cut and park and have dinner I'm game but you better be certain there's parking <laughs> Kareem yo what's up what's going on hey man Lenny what's up man hey guys TNT will be will fly by Dave when you have a good trainer time flies um, I'm on my second TNT student and we are averaging five and a half to six thousand a week my my guys are happy to upgrade but sad to leave me congrats yeah that's great man five and a half to six uh, weeks to complete TNT is flying I'm oh, glad okay. you're able to do that we won't get to do that because we both really want to go home and see our wives at Christmas so we're going to take a week between Christmas and New Year's and uh, and that doesn't bother me one bit I'll, I'll put off you know upgrading until then you know for me quality time with her is important and um, got to keep mama happy because remember I'm going to bring her out with me so she's got to she's got to enjoy this trucking experience even before it starts for her uh, I explained the answer to that at the beginning of the video but since you just joined they're asking if you're going to have a YouTube channel yes in fact I'm, I'm working on setting it up right now I haven't made a video yet um, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll tell you uh, here uh, what the name is uh, <laughs> what is it tell me what we came up with drive drive with intent drive with intent drive with intent, drive with yeah. intent. that'll be my uh, the name of my channel and I'll explain what that means when we we go live I'll have a, an introductory video and um, you know it's gonna focus a lot on a lot of different things um, you know my time in the military what brought us to prime my wife and I teaming together it's gonna kind of be an adventure uh, and I don't know anything yet about driving. I don't know anything about Prime, but I'm learning. And so it's going to be, we're going to learn together. You know, I also have an idea that I'd like to share our, our, you know, our journey to other people that, that maybe want to make a change in careers. And so, you know, two or three months ago, if you'd have suggested to me that I was going to become a truck driver, I'd have looked at you like you were crazy. But it comes over time, you know, first the, the seed was planted in my head from, from finding Eric and Twisted Big D and Kiersey and all kinds of other people on YouTube, many of you, watching your videos and, and, and starting to think, you know what, I could do that. I didn't know if I could do it, but here I am, you know, one step at a time, we're coming closer and closer to realizing our dreams. Um, I've got my wife convinced that, that we're gonna do it together and we're gonna hit this hard for, five years or so and and hopefully uh, ride off into the sunset but you never know maybe not maybe I'll I'll get a truck maybe I'll get a second truck maybe we'll run a, a small fleet the beauty of that is man anybody can do it anybody can walk into prime if you're driven and you're motivated and you do the right things and you work hard there's no reason you can't make a ton of money here so I'm excited to, to start the channel I think I have a lot of things to talk about and uh, Hopefully you guys will all um, subscribe. We'll be talking more about that later. Uh, Scotty Boy, exactly the same for me. Huge career, career 180. Uh, Lenny, is Dave going to have his own YouTube channel? You know it. He's got Prime's best YouTuber to teach him. <laughs> I don't know if I'm Prime's best. I, I strive to be one of the best. But Prime has a lot of really great YouTubers. Yeah, I'm very happy that I lucked out and got um, Eric as my trainer. It, it just, uh, it, well, I believe it was in the cards. It was meant to be because it just lined up for both of us at the same time. We knew each other. We got to talking. It was at a time in his life when he needed to train somebody because of his wife being pregnant. And uh, here I was coming out of TNT. And if it had happened before, before I got sick, it wouldn't have happened for us. He'd have been training somebody else and I'd have a different trainer. But. I couldn't be more happy. The first four days have been great. He's explaining things well. I'm picking it up well, and, and I hope that it continues to just uh, to go on this trajectory till the end. Yeah, and I've got a <clears throat> I've got a student lined up, uh, Scotty Boy, who's in the chat. 
if it all works out well. Um, so, but if you want a good PSD trainer, go over to Twisted Big D's channel. He's got his driver code up there. You can use him as a referral. You can request him to be your PSD trainer. If you use him as your referral, it's your, it's probably a good shot that you'll uh, you'll get him as your PSD trainer. He doesn't. I don't think he does TNT. Um, so I highly recommend it. And, and then you can't do that after you arrive. There's there's rules against that, but there's certainly nothing wrong with reaching out to uh, Twisted Big D through his channel now and kind of talking to him about uh, the, the availability of when you're coming and whether he might be able to train you. I think that's okay. Daniel, if you're still on, tell me if I'm wrong about that. Lonnie dropping a $100 super chat. Holy crap. I've gained a new career and life path from the info your content has provided me. Dinner is on me next time. Wow. Lonnie, that's amazing, man. Thank you. I know we've been... Thank you. That means a lot. Um, but now that you've thrown $100 into the tip jar, let me buy you dinner. How about that? Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, that's going to that's gonna buy a lot of diapers right there. <laughs> diapers and coffee but thank you daniel says lol covid helped you get driver lineup but what did it do for me well if nothing <laughs> else you just gotta you just got a plug for a bunch of new students coming to you what did it do for me <laughs> all you got was a lousy shirt <laughs> uh coach d in the house and lonnie i'm seriously that means a lot to me man i appreciate that i i feel like i need to get out and dance or something uh lenny is, is you guys great if you want a great tnt trainer there's lenny right there i remember when lenny was in training himself so it's awesome that he's looking for his third student but yeah lenny right there available for a new student january 3rd lenny is that psd and tnt that you're looking for Maybe put your uh, driver code in there. And uh, Twisted Big D, you, put, you can put your driver code in there too. If you guys are looking for a trainer, man, use those driver codes and get connected up. Both those guys are amazing. Use Lenny if you need a TNT trainer. Use uh, Twisted Big D for PSD. So, uh, <clears throat> what else? Any questions? I'm really surprised here, guys. This pork may be off. By the way, here's another subject to talk about real quick. Um, I've talked about before. One of the things I love about driving with Dave is that he's curious like I am. And uh, he's all he wants to know what we're hauling. You know what I mean? So let me pause real quick. If you're watching a replay and you need to see Lenny's driver code. He just dropped it in the live chat. You can still see that on the uh, on the replay. You can pull up the live chat and put and see Lenny's driver code. Twisted Big Deal probably dro drop his driver code in there too. So anyway, um, I've talked about a lot of the the freight that we haul and how it changes with the seasons. And the first load that we pick up that's not from Springfield is seasonal, right? Uh, like a, it's all Christmas stuff. It's like sausages yeah, and like a, uh, yeah, smoked sausages, things that you put out like uh, the little uh, cocktail weenies, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, sliced, you know, the the, the um, summer sausage that you cut up at Christmas time, that kind of thing. Last year we hauled Jen and I hauled uh, eggnog, it's heavy as hell. Oh my God, that was heavy. It was basically like a beer load, but eggnog. Um, we did like Christmas muffins, which those were not heavy. <laughs> uh, did all kinds of seasonal stuff. So it's really... Look at that. Wombat says, Lonnie put me in my place. Now I have to donate a thousand. Huh? How about yeah, that? Yeah, don't do a thousand. <laughs> that already makes me feel guilty. <laughs> getting 100 how's jenna liking the new gig she doesn't start until thank you for asking but she doesn't start until the sixth kelly uh kelly says is prime hiring out of north florida Hi, recently uh prime probably three or four months ago just decided 
or they started hiring out of Florida again. So anywhere in Florida, except South Florida, I think down around the Miami area, I believe it's south of Okeechobee, you can't get hired out of that area. But certainly, uh, Kelly, if you're uh, interested in finding out more, uh, we can tell you more about it, we can connect you with people. But uh, yeah, it's, it's great, get on it because they, they pull it away sometimes, you know, it, it all depends on the routes and how many truckers they have. And so right now, uh, Florida uh, people can be hired. Uh, Ellis Casino used to have the best eggnog here in Las Vegas. Didn't know that. Kareem, no, any good food from Idaho to Wyoming? Idaho to Wyoming. Good food. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I only stop for fuel or because of weather <laughs> between those two points. Uh, Iowa, Nebraska. I know there's a great place at the, I want to say Flying J, right when you come into Nebraska from uh, Wyoming, that's got a killer breakfast joint, breakfast diner. And they stayed open all through COVID. Really good breakfast. Oh yeah, Little America up there. I actually did, I don't, I've never eaten their food, but I actually did finally get one of their 25 cent cones and it was really good. I've seen the billboards for years um, and I thought there's no way this could actually, it's going to be crap. Um, it was a really good ice cream cone. It was in the middle of summer, hot as hell, 25 cent ice cream cone, Little America. I was not that impressed with Little America. I know it'll probably offend a few people, but, and I took a shower there too because all their billboards talk about their showers. Wasn't impressed with shower either. So I've been to Little America a few times, but I don't really see what all the, all the buzz is about. Maybe it's just that one up there. I guess there's a couple of them, right? But anyway, I don't know. I couldn't tell you of any, where to get really good food. Antelope Truck Stop has a good Indian American place in there, Burns, Wyoming, and a bar. <clears throat> Big C idea, can you make a section in Discord where people can contribute great places to eat by state? I'm a Big C. I can, but the problem is it's hard to organize stuff in Discord that actually stays, it, you know. Open or available. I mean, I guess I could make maybe make a list and pen pen it. Um, let me think about that. That's a good idea. Let me think I, about that. I had the same idea last night. We talked about that when we were eating. See, um, it, especially for new people, we have no clue. So, this, even if it could be some kind of list that people added to the end of it, you know where it is, maybe you know the city, the highway, whatever, and a description of what the food is. I think that's a great idea. What? See, here's it. maintain it be and I don't even have time right now to deal with comments on YouTube you guys and if someone recommends a food joint what's gonna happen is we're all gonna argue about whether or not that's good and that's gonna be pushed way up in the you know it's a hard format to track stuff because there's just so much conversation but I'll I'll think of something bar food is always the best John Halgren just got in. Thanks. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, well, I see you in the comments all the time. I really appreciate that. Just got in. Thanks to Dave for explaining the hat and thanks for the service. You're welcome. You're welcome. He's got three kids in too. Uh, Big C, that's true. Timothy Fisher, 368 pounds. I know good food. <laughs> There is a lot of good food out there. That, there's a lot of good food out there. Uh, what else, you guys? Man, I really think we're about to be... Uh, we're about to be done here at this dock. What time is it? 3.30? I 
I may go out there to Fuel Max and just bias the shower tonight because they're really nice. It's really nice showers. Let's do it. And it's a there. There will definitely be parking out there. Is that? Is that? Well, we don't know where we're going to, so we could go any direction, really, right? Yeah. <clears throat> if you like fish and chicken, there is a place across from the TA in Gary, Indiana. Man, I just hate getting off the interstate in Gary. But I believe that there's some good fish and chicken around that whole area. I'm, I lived in Chicago for 10 years. We got a lot of really good fish and chicken joints up there in Chicago. Nelks TV, haven't seen you in a while, man. Good job. Captain Dave says Nelks TV. Thanks, brother. I think we talked a while back when I was first considering coming to, to Prime. I remember chatting with you a little bit, Nelks. Timothy, how's Remy doing staying home? Well, uh, Josh and Cheyenne, first 48 trucking, went over there and played with her last night, and they're on their way over to play with her tonight. So she's getting company. She's getting friends to go hang out with her. Jenna's keeping her busy. She went to the, I call it Dog Six Flags today, but it's just a big open field um, that she got to go party in. So Jenna's trying to keep her distracted and busy. I miss her like crazy. I did not ever have a dog before in my life, you guys. And she changed me. <laughs> I always made fun of crazy dog people. And now I'm a crazy dog. I literally was just showing him Remy's, like he's never seen a puppy German Shepherd before in his life. I'm like, see, see, here she is. Here she is as a puppy. <laughs> Later, see. Be, be safe out there, man. Uh, Kareem, by downtown Chicago, got to go to Jim's Original Hot Dogs. Yep, I've been there. I actually lived on State and Roosevelt, Kareem. So I lived, I lived downtown. Actually, 14th in State, but that's just a block or two from Roosevelt. Uh, Michael, love the channel. It's helped me to come to Prime in December after I finished my CDL school. Awesome. Uh, Timothy, German Shepherds are great. Yeah, she's she's an amazing little creature. Amarillo, Texas has good food. Yeah, it does. And you guys know that Flying J, you can walk to Buffalo Wild Wings too. Not that that's specific to Amarillo, but. And it's not friendly to an attempt to shrink your stomach. But it's a really good place to go hang out. I still, we were talking about it yesterday. So I owe, I owe Captain Dave a steak. Uh, because he bought me catfish. I think I got Nick's. the better end of that deal. Yay. <laughs> Although that place wasn't cheap. Yeah, it was good though. I needed it. We'd, we'd been eating healthy for three days, so my belly was saying it's time to eat something a little more substantial. Yeah. Uh, how's it going, RN? What's up? We're about to close this one out, RN. I think I'm going to make some uh, make us some wraps. figure out let's see that fuel max has uh has a little taco joint I'm trying to think of what else that is rallies burgers that's not gonna fit our diet <laughs> it has a little nice little taco they have really good breakfast tacos in there okay uh michael lots of good food around pittston start next monday nice uh am i a cubs fan or a Sox fan south side can burn north side all the way although technically i lived south of the loop by a few blocks i'm definitely north sider what up ross how's it going if dave is from florida he knows what famous restaurant chain originated in clearwater oh yeah i've been there many many times we'll, we'll be looking for those along the way too in fact this one has a uh, a mask <laughs> from that establishment oh yeah yeah you guys know the mask now i know what you're talking about would would this be the place yeah the original um the original hooters restaurant is in clearwater florida I've been there many times that's funny tammy have you been to the, eating at the big texan i i was talking to dave about it. i've not eaten there i've meant to many times if we get a chance I'll, we'll go there and, and try a steak. Uh, I 
Dave has some maturity on him too. So Lyle, is is that to balance me out? Is that where you're saying that? <laughs> Jared, Uber to Papa Doe from Fuel Max. Ooh, well, I actually have to get some rest tonight too. That's. The... But I like that Fuel Max. It's got a nice hotel there too. So you can park your truck and go stay in that nice, nice hotel if you need a little break. Oh, who's Ross? Yeah, sorry. Johnson's Logic. I always forget I'm the one that outed him for what his real name was. Sorry, Johnson's Logic, he's, he's a good friend of Jen and I, so we'd call him Ross. Johnson's Logic, sorry. Twin Peaks are in Texas, never been to one. Uh, well, if that's something along the lines of Hooters, and you're looking for something similar, try Flying Saucer in Nashville, Tennessee. Love the name. Really, really good place. Uh, they used to, I think there's one, there's a couple Flying Saucers. There's my, I think there's one in Little Rock too. We used to come pick you up at the truck stop in their limo, wow. Uh, harassing. John, I went there when it was the only one before a chain. Wow. That's got to be way old school. So Hooters was just one joint, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure was back in the day. Didn't take long to take off, though, huh? Your courtesy of your employer who liked to have meetings. <laughs> Let me guess, you guys went for the articles? <laughs> the wings. Best wings ever. Uh... That's funny. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this one up because I missed a call from Jenna. So she wants to, she's got company coming over to play with Remy and have dinner. So I'm gonna call her back here in a minute before they, before they get there. But thank you again, Lonnie and Wombats for the super chats. And uh, thank you guys all watch this channel for uh, the announcement of Captain Dave's upcoming YouTube channel. He's working on it. His primary focus is learning how to drive a truck and he's doing a really good job of that. So he's kind of creating a plan for his YouTube channel, but it'll be soon. Uh, Jared, take care fellas. Thank you, you two. Tell her I said hi when you call. Will do, Tammy. Thank good. you guys be safe. Thank you, Johnson's Logic. Good checking in with y'all. You too. Uh, John, take care, drive safe. Be well, guys, later. Thanks, Scotty boy. All right, uh, you guys, appreciate you all, love you all. I'm saying y'all a lot because we're in Texas right now. <laughs> um, but anyways, you guys be safe, make good decisions, and as always, drive to thrive. We'll talk with you soon. We're out.